second lesson, we're going to take a look at classifying triangles by sides and by angles. So we're going to name this triangle by its sides and its angles. And if you look, uh, we have some measurements on the triangle. And we also, we could look and see that over here, this angle down here appears to be a 90 degree angle. So, to be sure, we're going to take out our protractor and line it up here. I'm going to line up my vertex just like I did in the previous post on measuring angles. And I can see I've got it lined up with my baseline. And as you can see over here, this is the baseline. And it travels through zero. So I'm going to start counting by tens here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And you can see this other part of, well, you can see that kind of intersecting through down here meets up and forms the vertex. You can see where it crossed over the edge of the protractor and that is at the 90 degree mark. So we, we do indeed have a 90 degree angle. There it is, 90 degrees. Now, when you're classifying triangles by angles and you find yourself with a triangle that has a 90 degree angle, you can stop and say to yourself, well, that, Mr. Marinick, is a right triangle and you'd be exactly correct so we'll uh, write that down so this is a right triangle classifying it by its angles and it does indeed have a right angle so it is a right triangle a favorite of Pythagoras and his followers long ago but there it is this is a right triangle and now we have to take a look at its sides because our jobs up there and were to name the triangle by its angles. So we did that. And now we have to look at sides. And fortunately for us, we are given the me measure of this. So let's move that protractor out of there. And we'll look at those sides. We have a side of two at the base of the triangle. The hypotenuse, the longest side, is a five. And the other side is a three. So, if you look at those, none of the sides are the same. So hopefully you're thinking to yourself, well, if none of the, the sides are the same measure or the same length, which 3, 5, and 2 are definitely not the same, you have yourself a scalene triangle. Scalene. It's a classification of triangles. Uh, when you're looking at its sides, it has no sides the same. So... I'm just going to write that. No sides are equal. Boom! There's our first example of a triangle classified by sides and angles. Second one. Same job. And we have some measures and we also have angles there. Oh, I see... What appears to be an obtuse angle here, okay, and an obtuse, a little review, is an angle that it measures greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. So let's pop our protractor over that angle and see what we come up with. We'll measure uh, this angle by lining up the vertex, oops, vertex and the baseline. And I've got that all set to go. Okay, and now I will show you. There's my baseline. And where this angle up, or this ray up here, crosses over the edge of the protractor, you can read what measure this angle would be. Now, starting at zero, because I said the baseline down there, over here, Passes through zero down here. We start counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110. And it is definitely not 115. So it's between 110 and 115. So I'm going to take a look up here. I've got 110, 11, 112, about 113 degrees. So I'll measure that off. And that was 100, 
13 degrees, and just as I had thought, you can usually eye these things, but it's best to be careful and use a protractor. So it's 113 degrees. Now, just like when you uh, spot a right angle in a triangle, if you spot an obtuse angle, guess what? You've just spotted that classifying angle. So there it is. This is an obtuse triangle. Oops, my mistake. Ob, O B T U S E, obtuse triangle. And because it has one obtuse angle. And therefore, you can classify it as an obtuse triangle. Now, we classified it by angles already. We'll look at those sides. We've got four, two, two. Oh, interesting. We have one side that measures two and another side that measures two. Those are equal. The four itself is not. So they're not all equal sides, but we have two that are the same. So... Hopefully you're thinking to yourself about this one, and you know that um, it is an isosceles. That's I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S, -E -E isosceles. And a lot of times some people zero in on this S-O-S -S in isosceles and would think, okay, two sides equal right there, two sides equal. And that's really just a way to memorize uh, what this means, two sides equal. And that's what we have going on here in this triangle, where two sides measured two each. So now I'm going to continue explaining isosceles because it has two sides equal. Simple as that. So it was obtuse and isosceles. Next. Ooh, we have something interesting going on here. Hmm. Well, let's look at those angles first of all. I, you look at them, and they appear to be each of them. I mean, this angle looks less than 90 degrees. This one looks less than 90 degrees. And so does this one. And if you're to put your protractor over there, or you could... You could really um, compare it with 90 degrees. I mean, you can measure them. Let's do something a little different this time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this square. Okay. I'm going to use this square to determine if my angles are less than 90 degrees. You know, like I said, technically you can, let's say we'll match up one of these. It's not going as easily as I had hoped. Okay, but here we are. And you can see that this angle is less than 90 degrees because the corner of a, of a square is a 90 degree angle. You know, this is a rough sketch that I'm doing here. It really is 90 degrees. But the angle of the triangle measures less than 90 degrees. And if you, you did that with all of these angles, there you go, we're lining that up. And you can see clearly that these angles are less than 90 degrees. When I move that away, I mean, clearly, this angle here is just less than 90 degrees. I mean, if, if that green line represented 90 degrees, right there, clearly, that angle, the blue angle is less. The angle of the triangle there is less than 90 degrees. And we have one more to do. I'm going to try to match up Actually, let's. I'm going to rotate it, have it horizontal, so we can check this angle with the corner of the square because it's a 90 degree angle. And you can see, let me line that up a little better. 
All right. So now we've got the corner of the square, which is a 90 degree angle. And we'll drag that away. And you can see, I mean, that's my rough 90 degree angle there, but this angle of the triangle is clearly less than 90. So all three angles are less than 90 degrees. And that would make them all acute. So when you have a triangle with all acute angles, you can classify that as being an acute triangle. So this triangle is acute all angles measure less than 90 degrees. There you have it. Classified by angles. Now we'll look at those sides. Oh, you can see something cool going on here. We've got a 2 as the measure of that side. Another 2. And the third side is also 2. So hopefully you're thinking to yourself that whenever all sides of a triangle are equal, that is an equilateral. Whoops. So, e whoa, crossed uh, the wrong area there. Okay, we got that, crossed that. <laughs> Equilateral triangle. And that means that all sides are equal length. There it is. So that one is acute, an acute equilateral triangle. All sides are less than 90 degrees or acute, and all sides are the same length in measure, or the same measure. Um, so there you have it, e equilateral acute. The second example was obtuse and isosceles, isosceles meaning two sides are the same measure, and obtuse. The obtuse triangle must have one obtuse angle in it. And there it is, 113 degrees obtuse, clearly. And the first example was a 90 degree triangle, or a right triangle, has one 90 degree angle. Therefore, uh, we can classify it as a right triangle. So let's write that in there. It has one right angle. And it's also scalene because no sides are equal. And there you have it. We classify triangles by sides and angles. Thanks for checking out Mr. Marinick's EduBlog. We'll see you again next time.